Okay, guys, um, we are looking at um, the CSS cursor. The CSS cursor, okay. Back to our previous project, which is this. Okay, at hover, at focus, we have this, right? At focus, we have this. Okay, I'm going to write the one of at hover, which is similar to this. Then I will change the cursor. You see this, we have this cursor like this. This have this cursor like this. We have this cursor like this. Whenever we hover over this, we are going to change it to the point that whenever we hover over this as well, our cursor will change from this to something else. Okay, back to our CSS code. Okay, for the one of CK, I can write it here. Okay, let me write the one of H1 first. Let me say. Cursor okay. You see, we have a whole lot of them. We have alias, alias scroll, auto cell, column resize, contents menu, cross hair, grab. Okay, let me use this grab. Okay, this grab will show whenever I hover over H1. Okay, back to my code, I refresh. Over and over H1, you see what I have as a cursor now. See my cursor changes. If I remove it, you see. If I hover over, you see what I have. You see. Whenever I hover over H1, I have this. Okay. I can change this mouse in the body. As long as I'm in the body, I want this mouse to show something else. I can just do it like this. Write the body tag. Body. Okay, for the body, let the cost of the let the cost of the um, not allowed. Okay, not allowed. Now, see, let me refresh. Okay, inside this body, you see the cost of here not allowed. So, there are some coding you will see what we have something like this. Whenever I hover over here, that one it changes to hand. Coming over here, I have a default hand here for length. Look at the hand I have here, hand for grabbing. Then in the body, we have not allowed, we have changed the cursor. Now, on this here, we want to change the cursor as well. Okay, let me say this is the CK class. I say the CK hover. When we hover, we hover over the CK. I want the cursor to be. Let the cost of the progress, okay? Let the cost of the progress. So I refresh. At the body, we have not allowed. Here we have grab as a cursor. Here now we have the progress. You see the progress doing as if something something is loading. So I can remove this. I can do this. So in Java, so you normally do on click. Let this thing shows on progress as if something is. Um, Loading. So you can code all these things in your HTML tag. So in cursor, whenever you write, it, as since you are using Visual Studio Code, whenever you write a cursor and write your colon like this, let me just write it from afresh. You write your cursor, C U R O S O R, colon like this. Okay. A list of course cursor should have shown. Okay. A list of cursor. Okay, you see, we have progress, raw resize, S resize, SE resize, SW resize test, vertical test, W resize, weight. We have zoom in. You know the icon for zoom in. We have zoom out, Mozilla grab, grabbing, Mozilla zoom in, Mozilla zoom out, and a whole lot of them. Okay, these are the cursors we have in CSS. You can choose to use any one of your choice. Okay, let me say the CK hover. I am using the help. Okay, whenever I hover over the CK, help will show. Okay, and as we all know, this rise checkbox is using CK. If I hover over this, you see help have shown. Go out, you see, come over this help. 
come over this side because three of them are using CK class. Here are changes. Here are use um, not allowed. Okay, I think that's all that we have for Cursor, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.